Hello, and thanks for joining us today. My name is Doug, and this is the Wired Nerdy Podcast featuring retro reviews. We are continuing our quick look into the Fallout series with a look back at Fallout 2. Fallout 2 came out in 1998, developed by Black Isle Studios, a division of the legendary Interplay Productions, now known as Interplay Entertainment Corporation. These folks, led by Brian Fargo and Fergus Earthheart, were RPG titans. They had already blessed us with Baldur's Gate and the original Fallout, so the hype for this sequel was definitely hotter than a fusion reactor meltdown. Kind of scary. Fallout 2 takes us to the year 2241, about 80 years after the events of Fallout 1. The player you pick is the chosen one, or the grandchild of the vault dweller from the first game. You are a resident of the village Arroyo. Those in Arroyo were exiled by the overseer of Vault 13. Now, before you can leave the village as a chosen one, you must first pick a character or create one. Like the first game, there are three pre-made characters you can choose from. One thing about Fallout 2 you might notice is the characters seem to be a little different, especially in their faces. Most likely from the effects of radiation, malnutrition, or something far worse. Narg will start you off with high strength and endurance. He's going to be good with small guns, melee, and some throwing items. Mengen has a very high starting agility skill and will definitely help with lockpicking, sneaking around, and some stealing. Chitza has a very high starting charisma stat and has sex appeal as one of the wasteland's more attractive, less mutated inhabitants. She starts off with a high speech and barter skill that's going to be very beneficial. If these three don't meet your needs as a chosen one, you can always create a character and set your stats and skills to your liking. Of course, what's a Fallout game without character creation? Fallout 2 offers unparalleled freedom in shaping your protagonist. Want to be a smooth-talking diplomat who charms her way out of trouble? Go for it. Prefer to be a stealthy rogue who lurks in the shadows, pickpocketing and planting explosives? The Wasteland is your playground. The robust character creation system ensures that no two playthroughs are ever the same, and replayability is way up there. Getting back on track and back to the story, you leave your village in search of the Gek, or Garden of Eden Creation Kit. One thing I thought was interesting was that the village saved a vault suit and Pit Boy 2000 for the chosen one to begin their quest. Now there's three ways to acquire this piece of equipment, but I'll only share that you must find Sheriff Dumont, Salt Beef Bob, or take a quest to Vault 15 and serve up some of those eviction notices. Now, if none of this is up your alley, you can always find the Enclave oil rig, but you're going to miss out a lot of adventure and some XP. No true Fallout wanderer is good without their companion. Along your way, you'll find a long list of companions you can explore the wasteland with. Humans such as Davin, Myron, Sulik, or Vic. Now, if human companions aren't your style, there's Marcus, a giant mutated super mutant with surprising loyalty. Lenny, a ghoul doctor found in Gecko, that's a town in Fallout 2. Goris, a mysterious Deathclaw and Scholar. Now, Deathclaws, I remember those in Fallout 4, and they are no joke. But I guess this one is a little bit smarter and uh, likes uh, learning all about history. Now, if none of these meet your demands or criteria, we've got our good old pal Dogmeat who can be found only during a special encounter at the Cafe of Broken Dreams. Make sure you're wearing your Vault 13 suit to get Dog's Meat's attention. I also heard he likes Iguana on a Stick. For those wanting to travel the wasteland in style, there is a car quest, but you'll need to visit the far west side of the Den and look for a junkyard. Once there, the quest is started by speaking with Smitty, who sends you out for parts. There's also a second part in Calmeth to make your car run better. It wouldn't be Fallout without a little combat. And we are back to our turn-based style system. Turn-based style systems may seem slow-paced by today's standards, but don't let that fool you. It's a master class in tactical gameplay. Every encounter is a strategic puzzle requiring careful planning and resource management. 
Whether you prefer to gun down your foes from a distance or get up close and personal with a sledgehammer, the choice is yours. Combat feels a little better this time around, but you can still get in a tight spot with those action points. You know I'm not a fan of those. You start off with a trusty spear from your village, but you'll soon discover everything from a shotgun to a rifle to a plasma pistol. If these aren't big enough for you or don't do enough carnage, you can get your hands ready for a Gatling laser. Overall, the writing is sharp and witty with memorable characters and moral dilemmas aplenty. Whether you're bargaining with a sleazy trader in the den of New Reno or uncovering the dark secrets of the Enclave, every interaction feels meaningful and consequential. Fallout 2 expands the weapons, items, and armor that you can use. Items from the first game have returned, but in upgraded form. In conclusion, I feel Fallout 2 misses some of the beautiful scenery and feel of the first Fallout. It does have a lot of different places to explore, better controls on the companions, and even a few hidden Easter eggs and breaks of the fourth wall to keep you entertained. Fallout 2 is a timeless classic, definitely worth a second look or a first look if you have not ventured into the Fallout series, and has stood the test of time in my opinion. Its immersive world, deep gameplay mechanics, and unforgettable characters cement its status of one of the better RPGs out there. Whether you're a seasoned wasteland veteran or a newcomer looking for a post-apocalyptic adventure, Fallout 2 is an experience you won't want to forget. So grab your pit boy pack up those stim packs, and prepare for a journey into the wasteland. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there. I hope you liked this short review from the Wired Nerdy Podcast. As always, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and check out our weekly podcast available on Spotify, Apple, and all other major podcast apps. We are available in video format on Spotify and YouTube. Please stay tuned for Fallout Tactics and more classic games coming soon. I have to say that I loved Fallout 4. I never got to play Fallout 3, but I will be skipping them both because they're just such great reviews by some really big YouTubers out there, and I cannot do it just as that it deserved. But Fallout 4 is definitely my favorite. Again, thank you for listening to this Fallout series, and I will see you soon.